double fear on two players with no trinket. Kroto's completely alone with Blizzo, and that is not a warrior you want to go head to head with. Any magic shield protects him from Zipai, but it does not protect him from Execute. Blizzo is just chopping away at him. But Waz catches Acro. He's overextended behind the pillar. He got baited. He got baited by Raikou, and they punished him for it. That finale, was... there's no cooldowns left on either side, but a triple cap totem secured by Zipai. Adam, Rex, and Cassidy are getting bursted down, and Zuniyaki's got nothing left. The portal coil could be enough crowd control to secure a win into the fear, and Walrix with... Cyclone Proto all by himself. Darkness gets dropped out. Is he going to be able to survive? Now Hex on to Burley. Proto barely hanging on. Oh! Blizzo leaps in for the Storm Bolt. Spirit Link barely connects from Burley, but there's a Stormkeeper Chain Lightning hitting the entire team. Burley's gonna have to recover through that with no area of effect healing. He's got no healing tide, no ascendance. His team is gonna be low for quite some time. It's gonna be difficult for him to work their HP back up. Valia with no defensives, Crota with no defensives. They're incredibly vulnerable. Now they've lost the opening to kill z -Fi. His astral shift is rotating back and available. This game is now swinging heavily in favor of XRB. Burley still can't stabilize. Touch of Karma in three more seconds. Valia needs to buy the time. They imprison Blizzo. This a fury stun to stall it out. Touch of Karma immediately traded as soon as it's available. Looney no smells blood in the water. He goes for a bash. He gets the Cyclone, a Storm Bolt to deny the stop from Proto. Great cross we see from XRB and Proto falls as a result. And can to reconnect to target. Valiant Trinket's out of the bash. Full stun on Looney. He has his Trinket, has his Iron Bark. Doesn't want to be greedy, but Looney's been doing a good job so far with this decision making. z has been able to support him huge, as well as Blizzo just making Proto's life a living heck as he's still just trying to connect to his target. Full stun over on the Burly. Urshock stun on Proto as he gets lower. Spirit Link Totem might get dropped out here. Does. Unfortunately, killed off immediately. Didn't get the value from Burley, so Kroto still remains low. It's a fantastic thunderstorm from Zipai. It prevented Burley's health from being redistributed. Blizzo chopped up the Spirit Link totem before they could get back into it. Now with a full hex secured, Burley has to trink it. There's no cooldowns left. Looney, it's do or die if they can't take him down within the next minute or so. They're going to be losing this and knocked out of the tournament. A double fear on two players with no trinket. Kroto's completely alone with Blizzo, and that is not a warrior you want to go head to head with. Any magic shield protects him from Zipai, but it does not protect him from execute. Blizzo is just chopping away and takes them down. XRB to the moon. You're now on to chats as Morrow stabilizes, but still, Ascendant not able to find damage so far in this matchup. There's no opening for Ascendant right now. It should just be an easy KO with a blind on Ratapai, and they're just waiting to do that. In the meantime, Ascendant are doing whatever they can get to the second ice block. They managed to get it very early on. I mean, Raikou commits this because he knows they just win the game with blind, and there's the blind. He goes, goes out of the block. He knows immediately this is the win condition. Polly's out of the blind. Morrow in a three on two, but he's not able to do it, I don't think. He spells steals a shield. Temp, temp shield's about to go off. That's going to heal him for a lot, I think. No, uh, not at all, actually. Shields are absorbing damage. That should have been the win right there. Acro gets a sap on Waz, and suddenly Raikou's on the back foot. Yeah, Acro did a great job blinding up Waz. He had no trinket, followed up by the sack, and that is going to allow Senna to survive that setup. Get a little bit aggressive here on a Raikou, who does not have an ice block either. Full fear now on a Chaz. Kidney shot on Ratapai. Acro getting controlled up. Nicely done by Raikou, as he does everything he can to keep himself alive in this situation. Big swap now over on our acro the frozen orb gets dropped can they take him down and they ultimately do Each each other blind. it's a race all cooldowns blown from both sides acro pre cloaks the cheap shot expecting a swap morrow now getting bursted temp shield blinks away was all over him morrow frost nova blinks away was vanishes out temp shield will explode ratify gets psychic screamed away but was is just going for damage trying to get a block off the back of this crowd control and they get it will chaz land the master spell doesn't look like he's even gonna go for it method black get a lead yeah, Morrow drop, jumps out of that ice block very, very quickly, wants to get aggressive on a Raikou, but Raikou, once again, he's just kiting away. Acro not there to get the follow-up stuns. Raikou just line of sighting him. Waz now all over Morrow once again. Chaz into the kidney shot, into the fear. Do they have the damage to take down Raikou? Force out that ice block. Smoke bomb gets dropped by Waz. Very nice. That means Morrow's not going to be able to get any damage out onto Raikou, so that was a smart play there by Waz. All right, we see a kidney shot on Ratapai. Chaz is moving in to follow up if they can't get the Ring of Frost, but they get it, and Morrow's in trouble. That's the second block. Master spell instantly. Morrow temp shields, he's on the run. Acro doing everything to get Morrow off of Morrow, or to get Waz off of Morrow. Morrow's hanging on by a thread, there's really not a lot left. They go for the DR blind to find the kill, and Waz knows exactly how much time he needs to get it. I see Baines, big burst, kidney shot now on a blind. Do they have the follow up CC? Full blind on Ratify. Acro has no trinket, if they can find him. He's Another sap on the Acro, but it broke. Morrow now could be in some trouble. Zimic, a huge swap on the Waz. No trinket available. Evasion is up, has the vanish in two seconds. Oh. And he hold on for two more seconds. 
Hutchins gets the advantage off to stay alive. Oh, close call for Waz. He stays alive, though, as both teams battle this out. No blocks. Trinket available for Raikou, though. He can Trinket blink away from a stun lock. Mara will have his shortly. Kidney shot on Ratapai. They need to get a poly off this. Everyone in crowd control. Will they find it? No. Ratapai's going to get out of the stun now and easily allow Mara to survive. Mara did burn his Trinket, though. Acro locked down. Ratapai not able to dispel. Rapture available. Raikou now caught into the stun. Jazz into the full poly bar. No premonition there. Raikou Trinket's in blinks away from Acro. Acro right on his back, though. Temp shield preemptive. They're going to have to race against it. Lights wrap connects but it's not enough to race the shield. Temp shield should heal Raku quite a bit. Chaz still got in crowd control, though. If Mario can connect an Ebon Bolt, he's not in line of sight. Raku trying his best in line of sight, but there's really nothing left. He flicks out the smoke bomb one second away, but an offensive pull to shadows allows Acro to stay on target and pull this series Not allowing him to build up damage, not allowing him to get that CC rolling, which is just so important. Now kidney shot on the Chaz. He uses his human rage to get out of that. Morrow gets locked out. Raku to the cheap shot as well. Both teams looking to get their crowd controls going. There's a full fear on to ratify. Nicely done by Chaz. Raku, though, taking most of the damage in this situation. Frozen Orb gets dropped out by Morrow. Full blind onto Acro. Was it the defensive blind to keep Raku alive? To try and hold onto that ice block lead. Looks like that defensive blind into Sap will allow Raikou to hold onto his block, but now Ratify doesn't need to use his trinket, so Ratify can just use that. Maybe it'll open up a win condition later on. We see a kidney shot onto Ratify. No follow-up, though, from Raikou. He doesn't want to blink in aggressively. Akro's actually looking for a re-stealth. He's going to find a re-stealth. Maybe open on Waz with no trinket, but he gets blizzarded out of stealth. Nice play there from Raikou. Akro crossing the map for a kidney shot onto Chaz. Who is he going to go after? Immediately, though, Raikou just blinks across the map. Ice Nova on Acro to deny a shadow step. Raikou sees Chaz in a polymorph, so he's just going to line aside Acro, maybe look for a Frost Nova. He uh -oh. But Waz catches Acro. He's overextended behind the pillar. He got baited. He got baited by Raikou, and they punished him for it. That was so beautifully done. So he sapped Acro, and then actually Shadow stepped over and sapped Morrow as well. Was getting swapped to. Heat Trinket's out immediately. Still a lot of damage over on Raikou. He gets stabilized instantly. Icy Veins available for him. So he's trying to get some pressure now on tomorrow. That was nicely done by Waz, getting the Trinket from Ratapai very early on. All right, Waz caught in apologies. We see a smoke bomb dropped, and Raikou explodes. That's going to be an ice block. No mass to spell. It's denied by a kidney shot. Raikou cancels it to go for a poly. He's going aggressive. Gets a nice block of his own. Chaz can't mass the spell. He's caught into a stun. Raikou is now dangerously low on hypothermia. Chaz, Chaz triggers out of the blind to also get a psychic scream, which is now going to put Mara on the back foot. They're on match point. Chaz gets cheap shot away. Light Raz is going to connect. Lots of damage. Life grip on to Mara. Trying to stabilize. Acro locked down. He's not able to support. Mara is slowly starting to recover, but he is now tied on ice blocks. Raikou still has his trinket. Mara, we're basically even at this point. Both mages are just reloading their icicles and frostbolt. We see a kidney shot onto Ratify. Preemptive pain suppression and human racial to premonition the incoming polymorph, but he doesn't get it. Raikou's not able to get it, though. Chaz into the poly. Waz gets swapped to. They need a miracle. They have to kill him here. He's on 10%. Will he fall? 1%? And he does. Great job by Ascendant. Striking back now. <laughs> Two to three. Chaz caught into a poly. They are trying to make the miracle swap, but Waz could reverse it. Acro trinkets to get stunned on his trinket. This could be the reversal swap onto Acro. He's dipping dangerously low, but he gets a sap. Will he be able to follow it up with anything else? Doesn't seem like it. They switch back to Raikou. He's locked on Frost for one more second. He can trade it out now if he needs to. Doesn't look like he's going to have to, and they still keep that ice block advantage. Yeah, Ascendant all 100% HP right now. Good damage over on the Method Black. Chaz finally being able to play a little bit of catch up here, but he's into the kidney shot. Waz now trinkets out of the cheap shot as they make another swap over onto him. Just wants to prevent these stuns, but still they're going for it. Cheap shot onto Waz, 50% HP. Chaz still got the full CC. Waz trinkets out of the polymorph. Waz in so much trouble, but ultimately able to vanish out. That was Chaz's trinket. He they made it out. He's trying to sap Waz and wait for the stun DR and sap his faint off. Unfortunately, Waz was dotted. The saps just break and Acro's plan completely gets destroyed. Now Acro gets caught in a swap with a double psychic scream. Smoke bomb and Waz is looking for blood. Method Black are the EU Cup 3 champions. Highest point earners. Walrix and Zeke Fire both getting low. Potentially a double kill coming in here for Skillcap Red as Walrix gates away. Mimson on him. Pressure for both teams. Skillcap putting out so much damage. They have the poisons on both targets as well as those barrel bleeds as well. So this composition is working out so well for Skillcap Red. This is a great blind pick from Skillcap Red with the in-cap secured. Walrix will hang on by it. Red again. <laughs> a miracle and staying alive. This is why this team is top of the
the ladder, even in situations that they're completely counter comped. They pull off miracles, they stay in the fight. Let's go cap red. No, they're just gonna reset the fight. Wait for way of the crane, make another push. Warwick still has no ending resolve. They know they've got no iron bar. Warwick will be completely exposed. Z is a vulnerable target as well. Mystic needs to get his bleeds running for that extra burst of damage. Cassidy caught into a stun with no trinket. That's the Fell Lord. This is it. Can they take Cassidy down? He's gonna dodge out of the Fell Lord. Looney gets stunned on his tree of life. That's a double stun from Zuni Hockey. Way of the crane is activated. Here's a lot of damage. z has got astral shift though out of the stun. That's gonna be an easy trade for him. I would have much rather seen the vendetta on the Maybe they just kill him through it. There's still a lot of damage. Looney with no iron bark has artifact. He's trying to hold on to it. Cassidy getting versus down at the same time. It could be a cross kill here. As both members go on 5%. Z5 falls first and Cassidy hangs on. Adam Rex and Cassidy look to close out this game. Ulrich is not playing portal. He's playing mortal coil. It's gonna be an all-in strategy from both teams. If they go after Walrix, realizing he's got no portal, he's completely vulnerable. Right now, they're not doing it. They're just trying to go down z -Pi, but it's not really getting anything done. Zuniaki caught into a full fear. No trigger in 10 seconds. Cassie activates survival instincts. He's getting earthquake stunned. Adam Rex now caught into an axe toss. Zuniaki into another fear. Good crowd control from Walrix. His offensive play this game is immaculate. It's really putting skill cap red behind. But in the meantime, Looney burned down his iron bark. He's burned down uh, the astral shift as well. Looney caught into a bursting shot. Now into a full trap, but Cassidy is dipping low. Zuniaki activates the rapture, but if the purges come in, he could easily just fall. He's hanging on 20%. Pain suppression has to be traded out as both teams race to this finale. There's no cooldowns left on either side, but a triple cap totem secured by z -Pi. Adam Rex and Cassidy are getting bursted down, and Zuniaki's got nothing left. The portal coil could be enough crowd control to secure a win into the fear, and Walrix with Cloak of Shadows. Mystic will survive. Cassidy trades on survival instincts. He'll survive two more seconds. Zuniaki needs to get this way of the crane. If he gets crowd controlled on this, they will easily go down, but he doesn't. He gets the heels connected right before a cyclone landed, topping his team off and buying them more time to carry this fight out. But defensively, Cassidy and Mystic are running on fumes. They still have Zuniaki locked down. They switch the clone to Cassidy. They hex up Zuniaki. Great cross crowd control from XRB. Mystic down on half, and they're going to be forced to run away here shortly. And if they don't, it's going to be a risky move. Yeah, they're going to fall further and further behind. Zuniaki, you know, with the crane, 20 seconds. Waller can see fighting. A good job playing aggressive while his pet dies off. Unfortunately for him, he's going to have to pour it away, make sure that he can get that pet back up, but it's not going to be contested whatsoever. Looney, I like to see him play a little bit more aggressive in this matchup as well. It's good for him to charge in, get that bash. Cassidy now getting oh! not the full cycle on the Zuniaki. I think that is going to be it. XRB cleaning up their gameplay completely.